some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Howdy viewers, Brad Pryder, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is actually more of a transition event. It's called A Fisher of Men, and it is activated after you activate another mission, which I won't mention because I'm doing that mission posting after this one, if it makes sense. A lot of afters. It's kind of progressing the story and it's fairly interesting makes you wonder a little bit about dutch as a leader and as a person red dead redemption 2 is an extremely long game so i will probably be alternating this with if i'm right i will probably have Grand Theft Auto, the Ultimate Collection, or whatever it is, and I will be posting Vice City videos. But let's get on with A Fisher of Men. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. So you take the young boy down, um, Jack, to go fishing. It's a sweet, sweet thing. And to be honest with you, Red Dead Redemption 2, the fishing controls are about as complicated as anything. So I probably will not be doing fishing for um, any sort of, how shall I say, making money or providing food it's just complex and that is one complaint i have about controls for red dead redemption 2 complexity and that sometimes costs me to try and figure things out yeah uh i'm gonna fast forward through the ride because it's just nice little conversation between arthur and jack Now that we've arrived, we got to find a place to fish and go through all the complexity of controls in order to fish. One of them is just getting the damn fishing pole and holding buttons and triggering the wheel. I'm going to fast forward through that. Are you waiting for something? Well, first, we need some bait.
I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Why aren't you fishing? Left trigger to grip the rod, right trigger to cast. They forget to tell you that. And you're fumbling around with buttons again. Yeah, this is just a mess. And that's one of the things I really, really irked me about Red Dead Redemption. And this just brings that back to a point where I'm like, you know what? I almost want to quit because you fumble about with all these damn buttons and yeah. Anyway, I'm fast forwarding through to the next part. This. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Gonna turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yeah, the Pinkertons show up, and yeah, it's just one of those things where... I'm kind of wondering about whether or not Dutch is a guy I should trust. And, yeah, the kid, you got to lie to him. And you got to bring him back to his mom. Um, I'm going to fast forward through to where we get to dropping the kid off. No. Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. 
Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. And there you have it, folks. Uh, Dutch seems a little nervous. And it kind of makes me wonder. The reason I'm playing Red Dead Redemption is now the plot is thickening and it's getting better. Still don't like the controls. But this is a fisher of men. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. And leave a comment if you want to. I respond to all the nice ones and delete all the bad ones. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I record four videos or play or post four videos a week. If you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for stopping by.